Hey guys, it's Matt here from Matt's Gaming and in today's video we're going to be talking about HDMI cables and whether or not you need to fork out a little bit extra money to make sure you get that full 4K quality picture. If you don't want to watch the entire video, um, the short answer to the question is yes, you do need to pay a little bit extra money but the benefit of watching this video is that I've got a link in the description to this HDMI cable which is the one that I bought. It's the Sandstorm Gold series. It's a very good quality cable. Now. The good thing about watching this video is that you're not going to pay anywhere near as much as I paid because I spent about £80 on this cable, uh, down from 90 but the good thing is that the link in the description is going to take you to this product on Amazon where you can now get it for £43, so you know, you're getting it almost half price compared to what I paid. Um, but other than that, if you want to keep watching the video or if that was helpful, please hit the like button and maybe subscribe for more you know, useful videos like this and some of my gaming content and things like that. But for anybody else who wants to watch on, I'm going to show you um, what your gaming setup will be like if you're using a crappy setup, uh, a crappy HDMI cable, and what it looks like after. So like my gaming chair video, I originally made a video uh, when I first bought this cable, and I'm going to show you what it was like with the old HDMI compared to the new HDMI. So as I said, the Sandstorm Gold Series HDMI to HDMI cable, it's got a lifetime guarantee, so you know, if you're spending all that money on a on a PlayStation 4 Pro, on an Xbox One, on a big high-end PC, good TV, really good game that can output all this 4K quality, uh, an extra 43, 45 pounds isn't a lot to spend to make sure you're getting that full quality picture. There's Nathan Drake. He's a lot smaller in person. Um, but yeah, I think that's basically all I need to say. Um, I'm going to cut to the little comparison video and hopefully you like it. If you do, make sure you hit the like button. There you go. As you can see, the picture actually goes off. In certain occasions, the actual picture will uh, cut in and out like a bad signal with an aerial. Um, so I just thought I wanted to show that um, before I try this new HDMI cable. Um, the guy in the store actually said that he would give me a refund if this didn't work because this is the only thing that's not, um, not you know, properly purchased for the sake of the TV. It's a very good thick cable. You can see that. You know, this is in comparison to my old cable. There's your bog standard cheap one. That's from a that's the old GameStop one that I had, and this one looks very uh, strong and durable. Um, it's got a nice little Velcro wrap there just for sake of wire tucks. Okay guys, so uh, something interesting that actually happened there when I was in the process of uh, editing the video um, I noticed that there's a few things in the old video that I didn't really want to show just sort of personal information and whatnot but when I actually went to try and reshoot it I've noticed that through some of the updates in um, the PlayStation 4 uh, recently it's actually changed the system information that you actually see so I'm actually going to re- uh, Show you that now, just so you know exactly what it's going to look like whenever you actually make the switch over. So you'll have just seen all the cutting out and things like that there in relation to the old HDMI cable, and this is what you're going to see now. So this is the sort of information you're going to see whenever you uh, have an old HDMI cable or just using standard settings. At the moment, I do have the uh, 4K HDMI cable plugged in, but the actual settings on the television are standard. Now, on some TVs, you'll have to change every individual HDMI cable to state that you want 4K output. Um, but I've just changed it back here. And with this one, you can actually change all of them at the same time. There's only two of them that do it. Uh, but you're gonna have to make sure you change it to HD uh, 4K settings. Um, as you can see there, the, the resolution is pretty good. The color format is all right. The HD CP is 2.2. But information for connected HDMI device, HDR is supported, and that's what it was like in the beginning. It said you have 2.2, um, you've got like 2K format basically coming out, but it can support 4K. As you can see there, HDR supported, available frequencies for 4K output, not using HDR, using HDR not supported. So your TV might support a higher quality color format, and, H and 4K HDR, if you change the settings, check your TV's settings. So I'm gonna do that right now just to show you. The, uh, the product over there is just sort of hiding my personal information that I don't really want you to see. Um, so at the moment, HDMI 
two and three can have 4K, one's a computer and one's my PlayStation. So just have to go out of here. And I should point out, you can't really tell in the other video, but whenever the picture cut out with the old HDMI cable, you can still hear the audio of the, uh, the PlayStation 4. So let's see. So there's your external inputs there. And you just go down to enhance 4K HDMI signal format and you change it from standard to enhanced format. So that's going to change my HDMI 2 and 3 to 4K ones. Usually, as I said, you'd have to do this for each individual one with different televisions. So now you can hear the little change, the audio cut out, and there's that little two bleeps, and then that's how you know it's done. So there you go. Oh, keep going. Now you can see it's changed. Resolution 380 to 40 times 2... 160, 60 hertz, RGB, 2.2, blah blah blah, and as you can see, it's all changed. So, available frequencies for 4K output. So, I can now put it out in 4K with those different frequencies and all the rest of it. So, that's it. <sighs> Nothing's ever easy when you're trying to make flipping videos like this here, you know. Um, but hopefully, you've liked this video. If it was useful, please uh, hit the like button and maybe subscribe for more interesting content. As I said before, the links uh, to buy this product off Amazon are going to be in the description. Um, and one thing I'll just point out is that you have to make sure you use the little, uh, the little uh, sort of serial code. It's like a, it's a little specific code that I'll have just in the title in the description as well, just so you make sure you get the exact uh, HDMI cable and not like a cheap knockoff, you know. Um, and other than that, that's it. Thanks very much for watching, guys. The links for my Facebook and Twitter are also in the description if you just want to follow me there. There's some interesting content that goes up there. And I post out when I'm going live if you want to follow me on the live streams and things like that. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.